Hello everyone, and if you're watching this live, happy Halloween. Lapa would like to dedicate this performance of 10 ways to survive life in a quarantine to the Lanai community. We hope this will give you some fun entertainment to do while we have our stay at home order. And we promise, we did not know there was gonna be a quarantine at the time of this performance. But hey, perfect timing? Also, Lapa is working to raise funds to supply the Lanai community with PPE and other basic needs through a fundraiser on our Facebook page. Our goal is $10,000, and as of today, we have raised over $6,000. There's still a few days left. You can donate by going to Lapa's Facebook page or to our website, www.lanaiacademy.org. And a big mahalo to those who have already donated. Also, on our website, you can register for our acting, dancing, and songwriting classes, which are all still being held online until the stay-at-home order is lifted. And without further ado, thank you all for coming and enjoy the show. Thank you for joining us. Woohoo! My name is Kay, and that strange noise you just heard was Aleka, coming to you live from wherever the heck she is right now. I'm in my room! And tonight, we are providing a service to you. Perhaps the most important play you've ever had the pleasure to witness. More useful than Hamlet. Slightly. I mean, who can't identify with being a prince and having the ghost of their father return and set them on a bloody path of revenge? It certainly helped me through my recent family situation. But could Hamlet teach you how to find toilet paper? No. Case closed. Will this play show people how to get toilet paper? No, but it will do everything else. Where we're going, we don't need toilet paper. I don't know about that, but without further ado, it is time for 10 ways to survive life in a quarantine. <gasps> Can we do that again for the cool sound effect, please? We can try. That's all we're doing tonight. Behold, our show, 10 Ways to Survive Life in a Quarantine. inanimate objects. A great way to maintain sanity in these difficult times is to have complicated relationships with inanimate objects. Let's see how Peter's doing. Yes, yes, I'm here and I'm negotiating quarantine very well. In fact, I prefer it because I get to spend time with my new best friend. Wilson? Say hello. Wilson? <laughs> oh, he's shy. He talks when we're alone, especially at night. And now that we're in front of the camera, he clams up. That's okay. I can do the talking for the both of us. Even though we both agreed to be talking on camera, that's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. I'm not upset or anything, Wilson. Not at all. What was that? Oh, I see. Now you have stuff to say. But quietly? Just to me? If it's important, say it for everyone. Alright then. That's how we're gonna play it? You're just gonna make me look crazy in front of all my friends. That's fantastic. Anyway, Wilson and I have been getting along great. We go for walks from the closet and back to my bed. And sometimes, and this is super fun, we just stare at each other's eyes like this. 
It's magical. You're so beautiful, Wilson. Normally he says it back, which is nice. It's nice to hear, you know, the validations of your feelings. But he's playing hard to get today, I guess. It doesn't hurt. I guess I'm not enough for you. Is that it? Is that what you want to hear? Fine. I don't need you. I have other friends. Meet Canterbury. Canterbury loves me for me. And I've been in love with Canterbury the whole time. And now, Lou is going to show us how his inanimate object gets him through the day. Hello? Ah, it is me, Lou. I know you don't remember my name from school. Because I was always the one sitting in the back. Or... The one getting stuffed in backpacks because there's no lockers. Or the one who sat out in gym class because I did not like the outfits. And I got a special message here for all the ladies. I know I wasn't on your radar. I'm not the best looking guy around. I know you'd rather fall for Bryce, the captain, quarterback of the water polo horse team or whatever. Yes, he's super attractive and cute and nice and all that. But I got something he doesn't have. This, oh yeah, look at this. This is the real deal, ladies. Four ply, count them. This isn't your generic grocery store off-brand toilet paper. That's left as the last thing on the shelf. No, 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 no. This is pure white gold. This feels like a cloud or possibly a Pomeranian or a cloud Pomeranian puppies. You know what I'm talking about. And it could all be yours. This even had a picture of a baby on it. Why do they put pictures of babies on toilet paper? Babies aren't using toilet paper. At least. No babies I've ever met. Because that's weird. Anyway. Where was I? Whoa! Am I right? I will be taking applications for the new best friends of the show. In the meantime, dare to dream. Dare to dream. I'll be your friend. Shh, it's okay. It's over. I miss you, Four Ply. I miss you so much. Now it's time for method two, performing your own musicals with your pets. That's right. You have kosher with you in your own house. Use them. And you don't even have to pay them. Except with treats. Mr. Purdy shows us how it's done. In fluffy he came to me. He sleeps in place That dog that calls to me And licks my face And do I pet again For his cute flu The Rover, 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 Rover,
and roll you don't away give me a treat the first ball of the rocker on his back give me a treat no I mustn't no those who have pet your sweet fuzzy tummy, they know the treat you seek will disappear. My spirit and your flute are really neat. The I'll never leave you, Fuzzball. I love you. I'll be with you forever. Beautiful. I want pets in all the plays from now on. You might just get your wish. And now, it's time for method three. A big problem these days is keeping yourself occupied. How do you spend the time if not planning revenge? Revenge on who? You'll find out. <laughs> Julian has some answers for us in our third method. Fun with scissors or so much crafts. Welcome friends. I'm Jolene and I'm here to show you a wonderful way to spend your time in isolation. One thing that I do to manage stress in these, let's face it, stressful conditions. <laughs> Little joke there. I know it wasn't a great joke or anything, but sometimes it's just the little jokes that aren't funny. That's where the true humor lies. So I like to do origami which is the traditional Japanese art or technique of folding paper into a variety of decorative or representational forms, such as animals or flowers. I learned that from the internet. I find origami soothing. Let's learn how to fold paper crane, shall we? First. Take your sheet of paper. Next, fold it. Then, you fold it again. And once more, just for fun. So much fun. Just an amazing, amazing amount of fun and then um i think it goes like this oops not like that that was a boo boo that was a terrible boo boo just an awful awful mistake made by a person who is failing at this very soothing task and, um, um, nope, not this way. It's that way either. Does this look like a crane? This is a crane, right? This is a very soothing origami crane. And I love doing this so much. Ugh! Actually, that part is soothing. I feel like I learned something. I learned not to go over to Jolene's house. No problem there. All right, hey everybody, Pascal here. And I'm learning all kinds of new things in this quarantine. 
like how to hide from the rest of my family. And the best place to go is here in the garden. And today, I will be showing you how to build a birdhouse. A birdhouse. That's right, a birdhouse. I know what you're thinking. Pascal, why do birds need houses? Don't they build nests for themselves? Aren't you just encouraging them to be lazy and not do their own work by providing subsidized housing for them? I mean, think about it. You don't build a deer house. I don't see any building being a squirrel house out there. Those animals have to live outside like animals. And suddenly we're privileging birds over other animals? What the heck are you doing? <laughs> I mean, you make some pretty good points there. Do birds really need our help? Those dudes can fly. All the other animals can't fly. They're stuck walking on the ground like idiots. And we're making stuff for birds. Birds poop on your head. Do other animals poop on your head? No. Does a deer walk outside of the woods, climb up the side of your house, lean over the gutter, and poop on your head when you're walking outside? No, deer do not do that. Not to mention the fact that birds are free, right? They can fly anywhere. It's like they're super beings, and I'm stuck to the crust of the earth like a fool. They're not in quarantine. They're not worried about getting a stupid virus. They're basically running the show now. Everywhere I look outside, it's birds. No people. Birds are in charge. And I'm supposed to make them a house? I'm supposed to spend my time making a house for a lazy, ignorant bird who can't even figure out how to make its own nest. No! No more! I'm not building a bird house today. Hmm. So I do my best thing thinking in the garden. It's nice to have a hobby. Hunting is a great hobby. My personal favorite. And now, we're on method four. I'm good at sports now. No one can stop me. Remember when you were a child and you thought, you thought, you were good at things? Yes. But then, you met other children and discovered you're horrible at those things. Yes. Well now, without any competition, you can be the competitor and athlete you've always had delusions of being. For those of you tuning in now, we've got a barn burner. The Libertyville Monarchs, led by the all-conference Shalom Sprout, are down by two up against the Motorville Motorheads. The season high of 87 points, 42 rebounds, and a record of 27 blocks. I haven't seen anything like it. I haven't seen anything like it either, Dave. It's like the first time I watched LeBron James play, but even better. He's already one of the best stars I've ever seen play. He's probably already the best player that will ever play in, in any alternate dimension. And here we go. Spro, inbound, Spro. The move. Oh my gosh, it's magical. So magical. He shoots. Oh, just off the rim. Just off the rim. Oh, the clock is ticking. Three, two, one. The Monarchs have won! Want to know why we won, Dave? Because we are the Monarchs! Let's go! And he carries them off the court! Yeah. Practice dunk! I didn't think she was going to pull that off. Shocking. I thought the Motorheads had that one. 
They totally blew it. I lost a lot of money on that one. And there are other imaginary sports as well. And here we are at the final table of the World Solitaire Championships. As always, the young challenger Marvin Benoit has cut a swath of destruction through the field. Imperturbable and so, so exceptionally handsome, he has had an answer for everything the cards thrown at him. And now it's down to this, the final table. Here comes the prize money. The largest ever purse for the World Solitaire Championships. Just over $114 billion. Enough for Benoit to write his ticket anyway, if he can only keep it together in this last, most intense hand of solitaire. First cards are coming down face down as always. Brilliant form, really. The kind of spectacular card placement we've been seeing all tournament. And here we go. You can cut the tension in here with a knife. Like, a really sharp knife. Also an imaginary knife. You can really see the stress starting to show on Benoit's face. He can't like that. Not a good sign for Benoit. Oh, he is in trouble now. This is a bloodbath. Never seen someone go so deep after just two cards. You can tell the pressure is really getting to him now. Oh, he is reaching into his steely core for whatever reserves of sanity and strength he had. One, two, three. OMG, I can't take this, I can't take this. Look at them all. Look at those glorious, glorious cards. I just don't see any way for him to win. There is no way out. Might as well pack up and go home. Oh my goodness, he is using the tried and true method of solitaire players everywhere. By cheating when no one is looking. Did you see? Did anyone see? No one has seen him cheat, therefore it is legal. And that is that. Benoit has won the championship. Yes! I did it! I'm gonna go to Disneyland. Well, whenever he opens. Uh, kinda wanna stay away from people a little bit, though. So I might not go to Disneyland. Maybe I'll just watch videos of it. And imagine I was there. But it'll be fun, though. I'm excellent at solitaire when no one's looking to. You're only cheating yourself. That's why I win. But now, we're on method five. The plays a William Shakespeare. That's Shakespeare. Oh, no, 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 you heard me. Why should I play the Roman fool and die upon my own sword? Whilst I see life, the gashes do better upon them. McBwah! Turn! Hellhound, turn! McDuck, of all the ducks else, I've avoided thee, but get thee back. My soul is too much charged with blood of thine already. I have no words. My voice is in my sweat. Thou losest labor. I bear a charmed life, which must not yield to one of woman born. Despite thy charm, and let the angel whom thou still hast served Tell thee, MacDuck was born from a duck. Oh no, shoot. That's right, sucker. Booyah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow and tomorrow. What part of booyah didn't 
you understand? Now what? But it's not just terrible tragedies that are fun to perform with stuffed animals. No, wait. It is fun tragedies that are the most fun to perform with stuffed animals. How about a terrible tragedy where everybody dies? Just to catch everybody up, Frogius killed Piglet's father and then married Queen Fertrude. Piglet's father showed up and told Piglet, Hey man, I was killed. You need to go out there and revenge my death. Piglet was like, that's crazy, man. But like, sure, dad. And then Piglet killed Baratee's father for no reason. And now Baratee's is like, hey, man, you killed my dad. I like my dad. And Piglet was like, I don't care. My dad's dead too. What? And then Piglet's girlfriend killed herself because Piglet was mean. And now Piglet and Baratee's are about to duel, except Frogius has poisoned Verity's blade and also poisoned the cup too in case Piglet was thirsty. Simple. Come, Verity's. Kill, my lord. One. Nope. Judgment. A hit. A palpable hit. Told ya. Didn't count. You missed me, dude. He just said a hit like a palpable hit. Didn't hear that. He said it. He totally said it. Shh. One. Oh, come on. Hmm. I'm thirsty. No for truth. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, I'm dead. Arn. No. Oh, villainy. Seek it out. It is here, Piglet. Piglet, thou art slain. The treacherous instrument is in thy hand, and baited and envenomed. The king, the king's to blame. The point, and venom too. Then, venom to the work. Ah, oh, dang it. Pretty much everyone else has died too. Greatest play ever. I think we've had enough senseless death though. Method six. Catch up on your studies. Fun. Super fun. Hi everyone, I'm Allison and I'm here to help you. This is a difficult time for everyone, but I think the best way to forget about everything is put your nose down and really focus on school right now. I am, and I love it. I am learning so much. Yes, I have three little sisters that are driving me crazy, but guess what? I can lock and bolt my door and booby trap the hallway so they can't get at me. I just put some headphones on, dive at the trigonometry, and ignore those little screams. Numbers are my friends now. Speaking of friends, I'm actually running a special right now for math help. If you need someone to do your math homework for you, just email me and I will do it because I do not want to do anything else. It's just math, 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 math all day here. <laughs> so happy. Speaking of math, I'm only charging $3.55 per assignment. Then I email the assignment back to you, you put your own name on it, and turn it in as your own one. I offer bulk rates as well. 10 assignments for $32, which is a savings of 10.94%. Again, math. I love it. Also, May is my special algebra sale. 5% off all algebra homework. Look for more. Hello? You're saying that's illegal? And I shouldn't be talking about it online? Oh, okay. 
I did not realize that selling math homework was illegal. This changes my business plan significantly. Luckily, I've been studying economics, so that I know when something is illegal, it becomes a lot more expensive. Therefore, my rates have changed. $22 per assignment. I will be using the extra revenue to hire goons who will enforce collection policies. They will be breaking their legs in a responsible manner. This is so fun! Seriously, buy now while you still can. I am your only hope. Without me, you are doomed. You won't regret this. It's nice to see some of our students are putting their great minds to criminality. It's really the American way. But maybe someone out there is studying really well. Hey, thanks guys. My name is Torrance, and I'm here to show you exactly how great this is there and has been for me. Because it's been, um, it's been a thing. It has definitely been a thing. Um, so the first thing I do is log me into my email. And right now my computer is not on speaking terms with other computers. So that's cool. But that's right, because I can get the access to the help page that the district has made. Which is currently offline. Which is fine. So I can't get to that. I've also forgotten my password. So I can get a new password sent to me because there are a lot of requests for new passwords or something. I don't know. There's so much internet, I guess, and it doesn't reach my house. That's cool. That's fine. I am working through it. Mostly, I'm just trying to imagine what my teachers are trying to teach right now. Since I can't log into anything or get anyone to help me or scream loud enough so that rescue workers can find me. So anyway, my teachers are not assigning homework. At least my imaginary teachers aren't. Because they are very respectful of my time and want to make sure that I have the most fun quarantine possible. But I keep trying. Kind of. A little bit. You know, just making that effort every day for a good 5-6 minutes and then calling it. There's no use bashing your head into a wall over and over again, right? At some point, you just have to make sure that learning is not for you. To be honest, learning was not for me before this anyway. Since I can't log into anything because my teachers are surprised. Oh shoot, I think my connection is screwing up. Low battery, what does that mean? My heart just grew three sizes watching that. The children are our future. Terrifying. But now, we're on method seven. Get really involved in the lives of squirrels outside your very window. With limited options to the television these days, you could watch The Wild Kingdom right outside your window. Shh, don't ruin it. Okay, hold on. Oh, darn it, they're not there. But they could be back at any minute. So, so let me tell you about the latest update between Kim and Connie. It's been off the chain recently. So much drama, I can't even have the time. I'm watching, and I'm like, I shouldn't even be watching this, you know? This is intense. I've been taking notes, so here we go. They are beautiful. Perfection. With their soft, fluffy tails and little noses, they don't have a care in the world. It's such a beautiful, happy home. Kanye goes out and gets the acorns. He gives them to Kim. She loves him so much. Day 2. When Kanye was out today gathering nuts, a new squirrel appeared. Stanley. He's sleek and skinny like a sewer rat. I hate him so much. But he goes up to Kim, and Kim gives him acorns. No, those are Kanye's acorns. He found them, and she gave them to Stanley. <sighs> Later, Kanye comes back. And where are all the nuts? Oh, Kim made them all, I guess. You furry cow. But Kanye doesn't know what's really going on. He goes back out because that's the type of squirrel he is. He knows nothing. Day 8. When Kim went out for acorns today, Kanye stayed back. Stanley arrived, and it is on, y'all. It's like squirrel MMA in that tree. 
Get him, Kanye. Get that thieving rat. Up and down the tree. Stanley will not be back. Mark my words. Day 9. Stanley is back. Kim gives him acorns. They are trash. They are so much trash. Day 12. Kanye is the king of trash. Kim went out today and two red squirrels showed up. Bridget and Jennifer. And Kanye was all about them. I've seen squirrels do things I didn't think squirrels did. Can't even with him. No wonder she's giving acorns to Stanley. Stanley's a prince. Day 15. Milo arrived today. Milo's one sweet looking squirrel. They are falling for his nonsense. Day 17. I can't even with any of them, but I'm still Team Kim. Till I die. And then, oh, who's this bunny sniffing around? This will not end well. And it's not just squirrels that have the drama. She, I never thought she was going to make it. The tree branch is probably 20 feet from my window. There are simply limits to what can be done. And this, this was beyond. I was standing here when I saw her. She was getting ready and I was like, you'll never make it. Turn back for Pete's sake. Stop what you're doing. This is madness. She didn't listen, probably because she doesn't speak English or hear things, maybe, I don't know. But there's no way a medium-sized spider can make a web 20 feet across. What are you trying to catch, idiot? Birds? But I tell you something, people out there, she leapt from that tree branch with a filament of silk coming out her backside, just so, and soared to my window. I was still skeptical. Sure, you make it across once, but a web requires many, many trips. Therefore, you'll never make it. Turn back! You're doomed! This is madness! Come on, friends! But she launched herself again and again and again. I was stunned. Was this the greatest spider athlete in the history of the world? Am I watching the Michael Jordan of spiders? Is she bound by the laws of physics? And yeah, I realize I'm using female pronouns here for this spider, but mostly all the males get eaten immediately after mating. I watched as that spider beat the odds, strand after strand after strand. She didn't listen to the naysayers. She didn't care what the crowd was saying. She knew what she was capable of. And that's a lesson to all of us out here today. Don't let yourself be afraid. If you can dream it, you can do it. If you believe you can build a deadly trap 2,000 times the size of your body length and murder as much as life as possible, you can do that. But then later a bird flew through the web, so I'm not really sure what that means. I learned that nature's not boring. And now we come to the most popular survival method. Number eight, sleep. Live in your pajamas, eat chocolate, binge watch shows. Or, your weekend is now your life. Yo, I'm here to help you with your physical fitness. Sorry, hold on. I took a lot of energy to walk like that. Alright, I'm ready to transform your body and life. No, don't answer that. I'm just gonna assume the answer is yes, Toby. All right, take your weights. First, mentally be fair for what you're about to do. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, you can do this. And one, two, three. Breathe. And one, two, three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Keep it going. I believe in you. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Stop it, kid. This is difficult.
<sighs> okay, time for the, the recline chip. And one, two, three, three. I love you all! Stunning! I feel like these exercises were made for me. We can get through this if we don't do much. But, if you do want to do something, there's spooky stories. <laughs> when we set out, we didn't know if we were going to make it back. Our supplies were running low. We had no choice. No choice. There were rumors you could get what you wanted, but only if you waited in line. So we got our cart. We got led into the Costco, but every so often, you can hear if you listen closely. Stop. Nothing. Then you'd walk. Stop. Nothing. I then realized it was a squeaky wheel on our cart. It was pulling us to the side. There was no going back for a new cart. But where was it taking us? To the paper goods aisle. That's when I saw one single package of toilet paper. The one package that no one wanted. I reach out my hand. Do I dare take it? Why is it left here? Is it cursed? But suddenly, I heard a spooky voice. Rachel. Who was that? Rachel. No one was near me. Rachel. It was coming from inside of the toilet paper package. Ah! But I took it anyway, because it's toilet paper. Right? But every so often, in the bathroom, I hear... I'm single fly. Or, you could try a different oral tradition. Speak! Memory of the cunning hero! The dog walker, blown off course, time and time again, by the cruel whims of fate, speak of Ananda, the chosen one, after she was asked by her mother to take Fury Gomer on a walk through the neighborhood. Speak of her failure to find a decent excuse and to cry, oh heavens, that it was a little bit cold that day. Of these things I shall now sing. Oh muse, recall that fairy Gomer pees a lot. On every bush, on every tree, Another dog has peed up for him. And the sniffing, the most profound sniffing of many things, so profound, no matter how strenuously brave Ananda pulled on the leash, Fury Gomer would not be moved. Speak of the contemptible squirrels which mocked the beast. Ananda struggled to control with their chittering like the sigh of ten thousand little teeth of their little noses and their little tails mighty 
was the wrath Gomer felt, like the thunderous earthquake summoned by Poseidon. Fury Gomer chased his long-tailed nemesis, but alas, alas, he could not reach them. Speak of the social distancing Ananda had to follow, sidewalks as narrow as ribbon, and how she nimbly dodged small children on razor scooters, and how she fought to keep Fury Gomer from sniffing the rear ends of many hounds. So many rear ends, so many hounds. And last, speak of the great calamity that befell her. Like the thunderous dropping from well-fed Gomer. Memory to forget to bring a poop bag. Tragedy. Luckily, Brave Ananda ran away very, very quickly. That epic will be passed down for tons of generations. Also, if you found Ananda's evidence, you can find her at And of course, of all the methods, this is proven to be the most effective way to deal with life in a quarantine. Megalomania. That's right, the belief that you are the absolute center of the universe is a great way to deal with crisis. Hey everyone, it's your favorite friend Mila, and today is my birthday. I sent out my invitations, but I guess no one wants to risk their lives to come over here and celebrate my entrance into the world. So that's fine. That's totally fine. I don't need you to come over on my very special day. But I'm dealing with it and throwing myself a party. Let's see what I got myself for my birthday. Hey Mila, it's your birthday! Hmm, I wonder what this is. You shouldn't have me. I spared no expense. This is from my heart. <gasps> A cell phone? This is amazing! It's already loaded with all your contacts and photos. What? That's so thoughtful. How did you know? I know you so well, unlike those other people who didn't show up to your party. You do, and I can always count on you. Other people let you down, Mila. That's not true, me. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who want to celebrate my birthday. They probably sent their presents in the mail. Right? Right? You probably sent your presents in the mail. It's probably coming in right now. Let's see what else they got me for my birthday. <gasps> money! Lots and lots of money. All the money I have in the world is yours now. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm sure other people sent their money in the mail. It's probably coming in right now. Because that's what friends do. It's a good thing you saw those credit card information from the files at school. <gasps> Shh! They're gonna be really surprised. That's the best part about birthdays. The surprises! <laughs> now, looks like everyone needs to call their credit card companies. So really, the last method is steal? No. It's... Ask for gifts. Forcefully, if need be. Oh, I see. And that's all the time we have. Remember, wash your hands. 
and children, especially small children, and birds that fly to your window, into your house, your pets. Remember, wash everything. Thanks for joining us. This has been 10 Ways, ways to, to Survive Life in a Quarantine. quarantine.